told you we're going to need your rhythm cup again. Um, and if you're not already, you can sit on the floor for this one so we can use our floor as a way to tap the rhythm cup, okay? Uh, make sure you're not tapping your rhythm cup right now because you need to listen to how the song goes. Now, the first song we're going to do is about a guy named Bobby Shafto. Now, Bobby Shafto is a song that dates back all the way a few hundred years and he is from Ireland. He's a real guy. He really was from Ireland, and we're going to get into more detail about who he was and when this song dates back to after we learn the song, okay? So first things first, let's learn the song, and then I'll teach you the patterns we're going to do with our cup. Uh, yes, it is a steady beat pattern, but as we did last week for our Six Little Ducks, when we're through, I'm going to display the words of the song and the rhythms and things on the screen, and we can talk about where to find the ta, and the TT and things like that, okay? All right, so here we go. Sing this after me. Bobby Shafto's gone to see silver buckles on his knee. See if you can try that. You ready? Here we go. Ready? Go. Bobby Shafto's gone to see silver buckles on his knee. Excellent. That was our first phrase. Here's our second one. Listen very carefully. He'll come back to visit me. Bobby, Bobby Shafto. Just like that. Really easy. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. He'll come back to visit me. Bobby, Bobby Shafto. Excellent. Now that's just the first verse. The second verse is just as quick. It's just as easy. Okay, so let's learn the second verse real quick. Listen very carefully. Bobby Shafto's fine and fair, combing out his yellow hair. See if you guys can do that, please. Here we go. Bobby Shafto's fine and fair, combing out his yellow hair. Now, who thinks they know what color hair we're referring to when we say someone has yellow hair? What do you think? That's right. Blonde. So if you have blonde hair, then you are blonde just like, you are a blonde head just like Bobby Shafto, okay? All right, so here's the last line. He's my friend forevermore, Bobby, Bobby Shafto. Try that for me. Here we go. He's my friend forevermore, Bobby, Bobby Shafto. Okay, fantastic. Let's see if we can put all of that together, and then we will put it with the first verse, and I'll show you what the rhythms cup, rhythm cups are going to do. Okay, all right, here we go. Now remember, it's Bobby Shafto's fine and fair coming out his what color hair? Yellow. Okay, here we go. Bobby Shafto's fine and fair, combing out his yellow hair. He's my friend forevermore, Bobby, Bobby Shafto. All right, you guys ready? All right, so let me show you what we're going to do with the rhythm cups. It's kind of silly this week. We've been tapping our knees, we've been tapping the floor, we've been tapping the bottom of the cup. Now we're going to tap our foreheads. Yeah, you heard me right. We're going to start tapping our foreheads. Now, that does not mean slam the cup into your forehead, okay? Don't be doing that. We're just simply going to tap the forehead, all right? So, let me show you how that's going to go. It's down here. Everybody try that. Ready to go. One tap on the floor. Now, do one tap on the bottom of the cup. Fantastic. Now, do a gentle tap. I don't want any bruising on the forehead, you guys. Tap the forehead, fantastic, and then tap the bottom of the cup again. Oh my gosh, it's that simple. That's all the movements. I know, we've done harder. Yeah, right, okay. All right, so this is what that's going to look like together. Watch me first. Just like that. Let's see if you can try that. One, two, ready, go. Four, tap, forehead, tap. Excellent, do that one more time. Ready, go. Floor, tap, forehead, tap. Now, if we put it with a song, this is how that's going to flow. Bobby Shafto's gone to see silver buckles on his knee. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just keeping a steady beat in my music while we're singing the melody on top. Okay? All right. So let's see if we can try that. Remember, it's Bobby Shafto's gone to see silver buckles on his knee. He'll come back to visit me, Bobby Bobby Shafto. And then our second verse was... Bobby Shafto's fine and fair, combing out his yellow hair. He's my friend forevermore, Bobby Bobby Shafto. All right, let's give it a shot. Here we go. Bobby Shafto's gone to see silver buckles on his knee. He'll come back to visit me, Bobby. 
Excellent. And if you were doing it right with us, you should have ended with your tap here. And if you want to go back and try that again, just rewind the video a little bit and give the song another shot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to display the song on the screen for you to see. And I will show you where we can find our ta's and tt's and how we've used those ta's and tt's in order to create our song. Okay. All right. So let me share our screen. Now, I know the big question on some of your brains is, who is Bobby Shafto? Well, Bobby Shafto was a really real guy, like he actually existed, okay? He uh, lived in Ireland. He was, uh, we don't really know the date that he was born, but we know that he was appointed the high sheriff of a county in Ireland in 1709, and then he passed away in 1723. Um, so let me pull our song up, okay? Now, he was from Wicklow, Ireland. Um, some people think 1723. Some people say he died in 1737. So it, it's it, the records a long time ago were kind of, you know, we're not really 100% sure, but we do know that he really did exist, who lived in Ireland during the 1700s. Now, when we look at our song about Bobby Shafto, you're going to notice that we have a whole bunch of these symbols throughout that are connected at the top. Does anybody remember what those are called? That's right, they're called TTs. All right, and then we see a few of these scattered throughout where it's just the shaded in with the line coming off of it. Who remembers what that is called? That's right, that's top. Now also remember that TT, let me get you know what, we are going to use a green pen today. Remember also that TT, this is how many sounds on one beat? Two sounds on one beat, that's right. So each one of these symbols we see in this entire song are only worth one beat a piece, but it's two sounds on one beat, okay? So now remember our steady beat. Bobby Shafto's gone to see. So there was our steady beat. T, 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 Ta. So that is what we did with our rhythm for this particular song. Okay, so remember last week we talked about how we created the TT and how we created the Ta. Okay, first grade. So what we're going to do now, you spent your time looking at Bobby Shafto, and now we're going to look at another one. So, but before I show you what this song looks like, let's learn it and the fun hand clapping game that goes with it, okay? All right, so I'm going to start you off all easy. We're just going to learn the song. So sing this after me. And yes, <laughs> this is about a long-legged sailor. It is a, it's a silly song. We really don't know where it comes from. It's just one of those fun, silly songs that some kids made up a long time ago to play a game to. <clears throat> okay, so sing this after me. Did you ever, ever, ever in your long leg in life? Let's see if you can try that. Okay, here we go. Did you ever, ever, ever in your long leg in life? Okay, simple, right? Here's the next part. Met a long legged sailor with a long legged wife. Easy. Try that. Here we go. With, oh, my bad, meta. That's where we start. Oh, my bad. Here we go. Met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Okay, let's see if we can put those two phrases together, okay? Remember, it's did you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? All right, let's sing that together. Here we go. <laughs> did you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life Met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Okay? Now, if I were to actually ask you that question, your answer would probably be, no, I don't think I've ever met one of those. All right, maybe a tall sailor, but I don't know about a long-legged sailor. All right, so sing this after me. No, I never, never, never in my long-legged life. Try that, here we go. No, I never, never, never in my long leg in life. And our last phrase is just the same as one you did earlier. 
met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Okay, so see if you can try that. Here we go. Met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Fantastic. All right, now let's see if we can put that part together where we're saying, no, I've never. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Say, no, I've never, never, never in my long-legged life met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Now, I know you're probably sitting there thinking, what is going on? This is such a weird song. Well, the whole point of behind some of these songs is just simply to give us a way to do some kind of hand clapping game or something with rhythm cops, or maybe kids would do a rock passing game in the past or something like that. So a lot of times these words wouldn't make any sense at all. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you what we're doing. So put your hand out and I want you to pretend like your hand is here touching mine. Okay. So the way the song starts is we just go, did you? Real simple. Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. Did you? Fantastic. Now, when we start the next phrase on the word ever, we're going to pat our hands. Boom, just like that. So again, pretend like your hand is here and that you are tapping mine. So it's going to look like this. Did you ever? Real simple. And I reach forward to clap your hand on that ever. So try that with me. Here we go. Did you ever? Just like that. Now watch me add the next part, okay? Watch me very carefully. Did you ever, ever, ever in your... Did you see how I'm doing that? So after I start my claps, I go sway, sway, pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap. And I just keep doing that until we get to the phrase no, I never, never, never. See how I'm doing that? Really easy so far, okay? So we're gonna take it slow so that you can get those hands going. And if you kind of get your hands a little mixed up and they get a little confused, that's totally okay, you guys, okay? Just do the best you can. And if you want to, you can rewind the video and give it another try. All right, so let's try it. Here we go. I'm gonna go slow for you. Here we go. Did you ever, ever, No, I never, never, never in my long-legged life met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. See, that's not so bad. It's pretty easy, but if you feel like you want to try it again, just go ahead and back it on up and give it another shot, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to add an element to this, all right? So if you ever, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Every time you sing the word long, you got to put your hands out like that, okay? So every time. So let's practice that first. So I don't want us to do our hands at all unless we sing the word long. So every time you sing the word long, just do your hands out like that. And you notice we were kind of doing it already when we were learning the song. So now we're just going to add it in to all the, every time you say long. Don't do your hands otherwise, just out on long, okay? So let's try it. Did you... Ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life Met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife No, I never, never, never in my long-legged life Met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife Excellent! So now all we got to do is put that part with our hands out on long together with our hand clappings that we were doing, okay? All right, watch me do the beginning part so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, okay? All right, so watch me first. Don't try this with me. I think you're just going to try it with me. Don't try it with me. Just watch. Here we go. Did you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? Did you catch what I did there? Every time I did long, my hands had to go out, but otherwise I kept my hand claps going, okay? All right, now I wanna see if you can try it with me. And again, don't get discouraged if your hands get a little mixed up when they're trying to do it. It's totally okay. When I was learning this, my hands were all kinds of mixed up, all right? So, let's give it a try, here we go. Did you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life 
met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Excellent. Now, if you feel like you need to give that another shot, go ahead and rewind and try that again. But otherwise, we're going to move into the next phrase where we say, no, I never. Now, everything's the same. We're doing our hands, and on long, you do your hands out. All right, so let's try it. Here we go. No, I never, never, never in my long-legged life met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Excellent. You guys are awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add one more element to our song. So, so far you're doing your hand claps, unless you say long and our hands go out. Now what I'd like to add is the word sailor. So whenever you say sailor, and it happens a couple of times in our song, you're going to put your hands up like that, like you are saluting, okay? All right, so that would look kind of like this. So I'm going to start in the middle of the song. So again, don't do this with me. Just watch. I'm going to start kind of in the middle of the song. Let me make sure I'm long-legged. Okay, here we go. Met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Oh, that was kind of tricky. So I went, met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. That's what I did there. It's a little tricky, but let's add it in. Okay, you guys ready? All right, here we go. Did you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? Awesome. That was tricky, I know. Let's do the next phrase. Here we go. No, I never, never, never in my long-legged life met a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Awesome. Okay, you guys are doing really good. Now there's one more element we need to add. I know you're going, oh no, there's another part. Yeah, but this one's really easy. Just like with sailor, our hands went up. What we're going to do with the word wife is you're going to cross your arms over your heart because that's the one that he loves. Okay, I know. Ugh, gross love. Yeah. Ew. All right, but that's what we're going to do. So hands out on sailor. I'm sorry, hands out on long. Salute on sailor and cross your hands over your heart for the word wife. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's jump in. Here we go. Did you ever, ever, ever in your long legged life met a long legged sailor with a long legged wife? No, I never, never, never in my long legged life met a long legged sailor. Why? You guys did awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the words up on the screen just like we did for Bobby Shafto. And what you are going to do is learn a new rhythmic symbol that lasts longer than a beat. And you've been singing it several times in the song already, so now I'm just going to show you what it looks like. All right, so let me share my screen so we can take a peek at that. Okay, so here's the music for Long-Legged Sailor. All right, and as we can see, we've got TTs all throughout some of our uh, sections in our song are nothing but TTs. We also have a few of these taws scattered throughout the song. And take a look at this guy. Oh, let me turn my pen on. Okay, take a look at this guy. Who remembers what he is in our discussion we had last week? If you said a beat of silence, you are correct. That little squiggly, remember I had such a hard time drawing it last week. Let's see if I can do it a little better today. Oh my gosh, that is so much better than last week. Remember this little squiggly, sometimes it could look like a lightning bolt to me. This guy is worth one, he is equal one beat of silence. So we say shh. So in this measure, this little section right here where we see the shh, we would say ta ti ti ta shh. See if you can say that with me. Ready? Go. Ta ti ti ta shh. You guys are awesome. Okay, now I know you're looking around this song trying to find that new rhythm pattern I was talking about. Where do you think it is? What word do you see it on? Yeah, if you said did, or you, or no, or I, you are absolutely correct. This guy here, and you see him here, and then two more of them down there. 
this guy is, he kind of looks like our friend Ta, except what's the difference? Look at the two. Yeah, we got one right here and one right here. What's the difference between that Ta down there and this uh, symbol up here? Yeah, this guy's not shaded in it. His circle is nice and open. Yeah, I can see right through that thing. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna draw him over here. So this guy here, he's not worth one beat of sound. He's not two sounds on one beat and he's definitely not no sound on a beat. He is actually one sound that lasts for two beats. Yeah, he's two beats long. So you gotta make a sound that's gonna last for two beats. That's a long sound, isn't it? I know, right? Okay, so now the way I got that was, let's say I have a ta, which is worth one beat, and I have another ta, which is worth another one beat, but I want one sound over two beats. So I could tie those together with a little pretty bow here. It's kind of a not great bow, but you know, we'll go with it. So that was a lot of drawing I just did to come up with that sound that's gonna last for two beats. So instead of doing all of that, what actually I would need to do is simply just make a ta that's not shaded in. And he's gonna be equal to two beats, one sound that lasts for two beats, two beats, you guys, okay? All right, and the way we would say that would be two, okay? Because I gotta make one sound that lasts for two beats. So just to make it easy on our brains, so we're not having to remember a whole bunch, we say two, and just make our voice last for two beats. So here at the beginning of our song, we would say two, two, t t t t t t t t ta, t t ta, and then going on with all the other ones, okay? So that is our two, and he's one sound over how many beats? How many beats does it take? Two, two beats for one sound, two beats, for one sound, that is our two. Remember that our ta was one sound, one beat. TT, two sounds, one beat. And our sh, no sound on one beat. Whereas our two, one long sound that's lasting for two whole beats, okay? Remember that, you're gonna need to know that for your quiz, you guys. All right, cool. So. I will see you guys later. Make sure that you take your quiz that goes along with this by clicking the link in the description below this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching this on Schoology, you'll see the uh, quiz embedded right there in the bottom. If you have trouble accessing it, let me know. Um, also the link, if you came to this video through my website, then you can go back to the website and click the link for the quiz there. So you got lots of ways to get to the quiz, but make sure you're putting your name on that quiz so that you can your first and last name, you guys, so that you can get credit for completing the quiz. I am giving your names to the teachers for those who complete their, to your homeroom teacher, for those that complete their quiz, so they know who to give credit to completing their music lessons, okay? All right, well, I will see you guys next week. Bye.